Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a very quick video for you, quick but highly important because we're talking about the power of placing together a preposition with an article to talk about quantity. Curious to know what I'm talking about? I'm talking about using di plus an article. What in Italian we call di più articolo con significato partitivo. Partitivo should let you know that we're talking about a part of something. So when we're talking about a quantity, I'm not talking about a whole, but I'm talking about a part, a section, a piece. For example, look at this sentence. Vorrei del pane. I would like some bread. Del, if you break it down, you have di plus il. Di plus il equals del. Vorrei del pane. When you're using that um, D plus that article and you're creating that del, you are saying that you want a little part of that bread. You are talking about a small quantity, not the whole piece of bread. So you can say that you're using D plus article when you're talking about a quantity that is not really defined, it's not specific. If I say some, I don't know how much. I just want some, okay? It's the same when I say del. Vorrei del pane. I'm not specifically saying a quantity. You have a, two little things that you have to remember. The first one is that when you're using uh, the singular form and you're going to be using D plus the definite article, you are going to be using this form when you're talking about non-countable nouns. For example, if you're talking about uh, a liquid, I don't know, water uh, or wine or sugar, those are non-countable because you're not going to be able to count the single molecule of water or the single little grain of sugar, right? So that's what we call non-countable. In this case, if you're going to use the singular form, you're going to say vorrei dello zucchero. You have di, which is your preposition. Zucchero, if you just simply use the definite article, you would use lo, lo zucchero. So you're putting those two together and you have di plus lo and you have dello. Vorrei dello zucchero. Zucchero is a non-countable and the form in this case it's singular. If on the other hand you have a plural noun you are going to be using it to talk about a non-specific quantity just like the first example that I gave you. Let's take for example um, apples. You can count apples. You can have one, two, three, four apples, right? If you don't want to be so specific as giving a specific number or kilos of apples you can say vorrei delle mele. So you're asking for some apples. Let's break it down. Mele is plural. You need to add an article to that. You have le mele. You're putting together di plus le and you have delle. Vorrei delle mele. The quantity is not specified. Okay? It's a generic sum. Now, I'm going to be uh, giving you a little exercise with this. Just look at the screen and uh, some photographs will appear. I just want you to fill in the gap with the correct form of D plus an article. Okay? If you don't remember if something is masculine or feminine or singular or plural, look it up in a dictionary. Okay? Let me know how this super quick exercise goes. Write the numbers you got right or wrong in the comments here below, okay? Remember that as always, you can do extra exercises by purchasing the book that I always, always suggest, which is this one, okay? And you can go to page 105 and you have a little bit more of an explanation and right after that you have exercises, okay? It's a self-studying book, so it's super useful.
Okay, let me know how this goes and I'll see you next time. Un bacho.